hi friends this is rakesh and today we will be learning how to perform a 1d uh, model analysis using ansys workbench and also how to automate the creation of uh, uh, 2d cross sections using the scripting tool in ansys workbench design modeler so first of all i will drag this uh, geometric uh, component system into the project schematic and just click on geometry without don't double click it because it will launch the design modeler so here if you see uh, here in the basic geometry options line bodies is not active so you just click on the uh, check mark and now it is active so you can just double click on the geometry uh, so that it will open design modeler and then we will be creating uh, so I will be selecting uh, millimeters as my default desired uh, length unit and now uh, I will be sketching on uh, the XY plane so I will be going there and sketching a line it's an arbitrary line uh, it's not a problem because uh, it's, uh, it's just uh, for the purpose of demonstration so now I have created a line then you have to in order to make it a line body because if you watch here there, there are no parts or bodies highlighted so for that you have to go to the concepts and click lines from sketches and then you have to select the base sketch or the base object and click apply so that uh, and then generate so that a line body has been updated and is now being shown now we will be going to create a rectangular cross section so go on to concepts concept and select cross sections and i will be creating a rectangular cross section so and here if you see this uh, default uh, rectangular cross section and uh, the dimensions are default to 10 by 10 mm uh, i will be leaving this off uh, as a 10 by 10 mm and just click generate in order to ensure it has been a uh, perfect place and now we have to apply this uh, rectangular uh, cross section to the line body for that you have to select the line body and then uh, go into details view and then into cross section and just click on the drop down menu so that uh, you can select rectangle one and click generate this is a clicking generate is uh, just uh, to refresh or update uh, this uh, design modeler or the changes what we have done uh, now we will be uh, after applying this rectangular body we will be now watching how it has been applied for that go into the view tab and click cross section solids and if you click on uh, isometric view so, isometric view So it's just not reacting so it's not a problem so, so now you can see that the rectangular cross section has been applied uh, to that sketch so uh, i will be renaming this because uh, i will be uh, uh, entering uh, one more rectangle and a circular cross section to the script so i in order the names not to conflict i am just renaming as rectangle so now it's finished so can just minimize it and now i will drag and place uh, from the analysis system tool i will place a model uh, analysis system into the project schematic and then drag the geometry and place it in order to share the geometry and i will be clicking on the model so that uh, the ansys mechanical will be open uh, So, so now uh, with all the default settings, uh, I will be going to perform a model analysis. Uh, but uh, in order to speed up the solution, I am going to set this uh, number of uh, modes to find to two only. So it it just uh, uh, becomes easy uh, to solve the problem. So I will keep on solve. 
so the default material in ANSYS workbench is the structural steel and uh, it uh, ANSYS workbench solves it by taking it as a structural steel so the analysis is over for example if you want to see the deformation you can just right click and insert deformation or uh, total deformation uh, uh, you can just select uh, in what mode you can uh, uh, you want to see the deformation so for the mode 1 I have uh, created one deformation and, tool and uh, for that uh, for second and uh, second mode deformation I am creating and the total deformation tool solution information tool so for that uh, I'll be selecting mode 2 so now I'll be right clicking uh, click the evaluate all results in order to solve that so for example if I click on the total deformation it shows the deformation in the mode 1 and if I show the uh, click on the total deformation 2 it uh, shows the deformation in the mode 2 so uh, this is how we analyze a 1D body uh, in ANSYS uh, workbench now uh, we can automate the creation of these cross sections using the script scripting tools that are available in ANSYS workbench so for that I will be uh, just uh, okay uh, as the uh, design modeler is open uh, okay so here is a scripting language uh, or the script that are prepared for uh, demonstration so basically we are declaring a variable name here and here CS rectangle means we are going to create a uh, cross section rectangular cross section with uh, 10 width and 10 height and here uh, CS circle is we are going to create a circular cross section which is a 10 mm in diameter so here C CS1 dot name is that we are naming the at a particular variable as rectangular one so as this is a cross section variable I have named it cross section variable and uh, more uh, you can just uh, get uh, more information about this uh, uh, scripting language and uh, other things uh, using the ANSYS workbench help so after just uh, typing it all in a notepad you can just save it as file save so, sorry save as uh, because uh, save as and then uh, you can just go and save as type all files and just in extension uh, just type dot js uh, so it will uh, form a file uh, it will uh, form a file of extension dot js and now you can just go into the design model and the file and uh, click on run script and then uh, select that and you just open you see uh, earlier there was only one cross section that was the rectangular cross section which I have created using the concept tool but uh, now here if you observe there are three cross sections one is the rectangle and rectangular one and the circle one so these two rectangle one and circle one have been created using the scripting tool in uh, uh, jump uh, design modeler but uh, remember uh, friends that cannot automate the creation of user defined uh, cross sections through this uh, uh, or say a uh, scripting tool so now we will be just uh, applying uh, instead of rectangular cross section we will be applying a uh, circular cross section uh, so if you see it has been updated to a circular cross section so this is how you can automate the creation of uh, objects creation of uh, cross section areas in uh, ANSYS workbench uh, for and uh, how to perform an analysis uh, uh, one day analysis using uh, ANSYS workbench uh, thank you friends bye